Only qualified personnel should service and install Napoleon appliances and accessories. See product manual for details. This video demonstrates electrical troubleshooting steps for a Napoleon Prestige Pro gas grill. Before you begin this service, you will need a new control box, logo light and sensor, power wire harness, and six fuses. To perform this service, you will need gloves, zip ties, a pair of wire cutters, safety glasses, a quarter inch drive wrench or socket, and a Phillips screwdriver. Once you have all the required parts, disconnect all power and fuel sources from the grill, so it can be safely serviced. The first thing to check is the outlet and extension cord for functionality. Once you confirm that the grill is receiving power, remove the interior shelves and bypass the receptacle by plugging the extension cord into the transformer directly. Next, remove the sensor and logo light located on the front center of the grill underneath the control panel. Use a quarter inch drive wrench or socket to remove the two screws on either side of the sensor and light. Remove the sensor and logo light from the grill and replace it with the new one. This step must be done first, otherwise there is a risk of blowing the control box. Next, replace the control box with a new one. Ensure to leave the center Molex, which controls the hood light, unplugged. This ensures that the wires are not damaged, leading to blown fuses. Note, the fourth port should always be empty. Now, disconnect the cabinet light to isolate it from the electrical system. Disconnect the white Molex on the left. This powers the igniter. Then, disconnect the black Molex on the right. This powers the control knob lights. At this point, disconnect the power to the grill and replace the power wire harness. The power wire harness brings power from the transformer to the grill. If it's damaged, the grill head will not receive power. The harness unclips from the control box and unscrews from the transformer directly. Once the power wire harness is replaced, reconnect power to the grill. Next, turn on the control box. When doing this, both the left and right switches should turn blue. The logo light should be on. And, there should be a blue and red light on the control box. These lights let you know power is coming into the grill and there are no damaged wires. Next, reconnect the black Molex on the right. In doing this, the control knob lights should come on. If the lights don't come on, disconnect the black Molex and replace the fuse. The fuse is located within the white casing on the power wire harness. It can be accessed by pressing into the center and twisting to open and close it. Do not touch the fuse with your bare skin as it will lead to premature failure. You will also need to add a main wire harness to your order before moving on. It's important to go through all the troubleshooting steps before placing an order to ensure all required parts are ordered at once. See the video description for part numbers related to this service. Next, reconnect the white Molex and press the igniter button. In doing this, you will see and hear a spark from the side burner. If there is no spark and a fuse is blown, you will need to disconnect the white Molex and add an igniter wire to your order. Now you can reconnect the center Molex into the control box. Then reconnect the cabinet light. In doing this, the grill head's interior lights and cabinet light should now work. If these lights do not come on and a fuse is blown, a hood light harness will need to be added to your order. If the fuse is not blown, add a replacement bulb to your order. At this point, the order can be placed for any required parts. Once correct operation of all electrical systems is confirmed, reinstall the sensor and logo light. Reconnect the transformer to the receptacle. Reconnect power to the rear of the grill. And ensure all wires are placed in the correct locations before reinstalling the shelves. Reconnect the fuel supply to the grill and perform a leak test using a 50-50 mixture of water and dish soap. Turn on the fuel source and apply the mixture using a basting brush or similar object. Coat the main gas connection and supply hose with the mixture and look for bubbles forming at the connections, indicating a gas leak. Ensure to tighten any leaking connections so the grill can operate safely.